Hello, this is rheumatology tailored to the emergency medicine shelf examination. This is all high yield. So perform an arthrocentesis when you see a patient come in with a monoarticular arthritis. You should have high suspicion for a septic joint. Nonetheless, you still need to do the uh, analysis for fluid because you want to determine if the origin is normal fluid versus non-inflammatory, inflammatory inflammatory or septic in nature. The table briefly walks through all those different possibilities. As you can see, inflammatory and septic joint fluids are going to appear cloudy. Inflammatory and septic fluids will have elevated white blood cells and elevated PMNs. Septic joints will often have positive cultures, while inflammatory joint fluid will have multiple crystals present. The big thing I want to point out for septic joints in particular is that they can have negative culture. So if you present with a scenario where there's a vignette and the patient has 60,000 white blood cells and a negative gram stain, the next best step is to start antibiotics. The most common organism is Staph aureus and it's often due to hematogenous spread. There are two inflammatory arthritis presentations you need to be able to distinguish one from the other, and that's gout versus pseudogout. Gout will have monosodium urate crystals, whereas the great toe is the most commonly uh, affected joint, and imaging will often be negative. The treatment is NSAIDs, colchicin, and steroids. Chronic treatment, you can use allopurinol and probenicide. Pseudogout, on the other hand, will have calcium pyrophosphate crystals, and the most affected joint is the knee. You're going to see calcifications on x-ray imaging, and the treatment is NSAIDs, colchicin, and steroids. There's no chronic or long-term treatment for pseudogout. Disseminated gonococcal infection, there's two flavors that it's going to present as. The first is arthralgias, tenosynovitis, and dermatitis, or it could present as a purulent arthritis without skin presentation. Half of these patients will have a negative synovial culture, and it's common. It's the most common cause of septic joint in patients that are less than 30 years of age. You're just going to treat these patients with ceftriaxone 1 gram intramuscular injection or IVQ 24 hours. Rider syndrome is one of those HLA B27 seronegative spondyloarthropathies. It's commonly known as a reactive arthritis with the classic triad of arthritis, urethritis, and conjunctivitis without skin findings, and it's often following an infection, usually urethritis or cervicitis. You want to get a urinalysis and swab for chlamydia in these patients. It does not respond to antibiotics, so the treatment is endomethacin. Lyme disease has three stages. The early, you're going to see that classic targetoid lesion, which is known as erythema migrans. Treatment is doxycycline for 21 days. Early disseminated manifestations are going to include things like cardiac uh, AV blocks, for example. Neurological manifestations may appear as meningitis or bilateral facial nerve palsy or monoarticular arthritis. These patients may need IV antibiotics, and late stages occur months to years later in these patients. Lupus is an autoimmune disorder, often affecting women more so than men. Uh, the I'm not going to list the symptoms because there's so many. Pretty much anything can present as lupus, but you are familiar with that butterfly rash that they describe. It's across the cheeks and nose, and it occurs in half of lupus patients. A and A is the most sensitive test for lupus, and anti-Smith is the most specific. Rheumatoid arthritis is a polyarticular and symmetric arthritis. Patients can be seronegative for um, rheumatoid factors. Um, Basically, the pharmacological management in these patients is DMARDs. So that's it. That's all for the rheumatoid portion of the ER shelf exam. I hope this was helpful, and let me know in the comments if you uh, have any questions, or uh, I know know that I struggled with the word uh, hematogenous earlier, so I'm just going to correct myself for that now. But anyways, thank you all for your time, and I hope this was helpful. Cheers.